name is Sila Beck, Kennedy, your rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. I have been listening to Doctor Who, not the Lost Stories, the, what do they call this range? The Missing Stories? The Early Adventures? Hang on, I'm looking at their website. It's, oh, I think that's Doctor Who. Uh, the classic series, the early Avengers. That's what they call the early. This is actually a um, this 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 range is put in place to uh, to replace the the lost stories, which there were also two <laughs> pulled out this month as well. So I ah, go figure. Um, it's uh, essentially recreating a an era from the first two Doctors incarnations and trying to put a story in there that's organic and feels like it works. And I'm sorry to tell you, this one doesn't. Oh, I haven't even told you what I'm reviewing it. I am reviewing Doctor Who, The Home Guard, the the early adventure story starring Fraser Hines playing his fantastic impersonation, Patrick Troughton, uh, Annette Wills, and Fraser Hines again as Jamie. And who they have playing Ben? Was it Elliot Chapman? Elliot Chapman is an incredibly convincing Ben. I, you know, obviously, I don't know Ben that well. I wasn't around when he was a companion. I, uh... You know, I can't really hear a difference between uh, Elliot Chapman and Michael Craze. They sound pretty much identical to me. And, you know, I, I get most of Michael Craze now in, in cartoon form because he's, uh, they're, they're animating most of his stories. I, the, I think the, the reason I think they're animating their stories, they, they said, was because they already have the, uh, the animation models for uh, 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 was it Jamie, Ben, and Polly. So <laughs> that's why they keep using. Them. Um, you know, I'm really hoping they're going to do uh, Evil of the Daleks. Let, let's get let's do a new model for Victoria. That that's one we're all really waiting for. Although this year, you know, Fury, uh, Fury of the Deep and um, Macro of Last what's the other one? And the the faceless ones. Faceless ones. I thought it was a bit of a weird one to do the animation on. Why not do the animation on the missing episode of uh, the Abominable? Not not the of uh, Web of Fear. They're missing, what, one or two episodes? One episode? Do it, animate that one. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. None of this is about, the, all this is about the Home Guard. And I guess I was talking about that because this does, uh, this does fit kind of neatly into, it, I, mean, it, I want to say thematic, it feels like a very authentic 1960s uh, Patrick Troughton adventure. But it feels like not a very good one. <laughs> this one's more... Like, imagine the Macro Terror, which is one of my favorite ones. The Macro Terror done with, like, the the relentless boredom of the Space Pirates, which, uh, you know, I've never seen it. I've only, I've only heard it on audio, the Space Pirates. But I was really, it was just, it was a slog to get through. I was a little bit, I was miserable while I was just praying for it to end, really. So it, it's also, uh, the other feature is that it has uh, James, uh, James Dreyfus as a new first incarnation of the master um feels a little bit unnecessary to me as well i mean i liked him in the other one the destination wars that's one of the heels with the dave bradley doctor i think he sparked off him much better uh he just did i just i don't know he didn't really seem to work he came over like a slightly well uh more well written uh what was it uh war chief or warlord they, you know, the time they had working with uh, in 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 the war games, um. So yeah, I mean that wasn't such. A, I mean, yeah, it was a point. Uh, that's the reason I was actually looking forward to watching it. So, uh, I'll only I only realized this after listening to the interviews. But the whole thing is really based on Doctor Who does Dad's Army. Dad's Army was a beloved show from the late sixties. There's a great docudrama making it. This beloved show from the late sixties about a um. Uh, it was called the Home Guard du du uh, during wartime, where you know, older retirees did some form of local military service in preparation of any uh, German la uh, land invasion. So, uh, and they were kind of like, they were dodgy old guys with a uh, puffed up sense of self importance. It's a great, it's a great fun little show. But again, it doesn't really work here. So they, uh, it starts off you're dropped in in the mid middle of the continuity. That uh, Jamie and Polly are married. So I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? 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 And the doctor is in charge of the local home guard and he's being very doctor. But they're all brainwashed and Ben turns up also brainwashed. And then there's a master lurking in the background being being very mastery. <laughs> very evil mastery. 
And that's really just what it, it, it drags on for like four episodes, and I was like praying for it to end. Um, yeah, it's got, so again, it's got that like brainwashy thing going on, like the macro. But again, it's, it, this is one I can't recommend. Sorry, Big Finish, they can't all be winners. I, I did listen, the other one in this range, the Daughter of the Gods, one of the best, I think Pratt's the best release of this year. You know, December's, December's coming up, I gotta do a, uh, a Big Finish roundup. Maybe a top 10 of uh, Big Finish for the year. Because they put out so much stuff. And, you know, this kind of also annoyed me because I've got the uh, the Blink 7 set, the restoration that I'm waiting to listen to. I had to p push my way through this boring piece of crap to, <laughs> to get to that. So I was really annoyed. Also got the other uh, the other Lost Stories. That, well, it isn't really a Lost story. It was like an instantly rejected story by, uh, what's the name? Mike Gallagher? Steve Gallagher? Hang on. Let me, let me, look, let me look on the Big Finish website. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, not that anti. Oh, that's uh, just saying the the War Master, the Anti Genesis coming out next month. That's something I'm looking forward to. Always like a bit, bit of Derek Jacoby, Ultimate Evil. No, it's the other one. Oh, where is it? Nightmare Count, Nightmare County, the Night Nightmare Country. Yeah, not, I thought it was Nightmare County. Nightmare County. Who was this by? Stephen Gallagher. Steve Gallagher, who did uh, Warriors Gate. I think Terminus as well. Was that one of his? I don't know. I don't know. But again, so I've got to get through that. But I'm really looking forward to the Restoration one. This one, I, again, unless you're a, a insane completist like myself, it, this is one to skip. I cannot recommend it in any way. Although it's always fun to hear uh, to hear them do the second Doctor. But there's just so many other better versions. You know what? I'm going to look on. Let me go to that range, the early, early adventures, and tell you which, which ones are better. Do reds, uh, home guard, early adventures, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, well, Daughter of the Gods, that, that's far superior. Let's just look at second Doctor stories that he did. Dark Occupation of Winter, which is the first story. I've, I've got to re listen to it because it was written by the same guy who did Daughter of the Gods, who was really excellent. Um, Wreck of the World. That was a bit. That was a better one. Morton Legacy. I don't even remember. The Outliers. Yeah, get okay. You know what? I'm coming to the conclusion. This isn't really one of the best best of ranges. Still going back. Right, there were some more ones that were much better. The ISIS Network was a weird Cyberman story with like these giant slugs and. This is a good one. Yeah, if you're going to listen, want to listen to one in this range, listen to Doctor Who The Black Hole, which also is a med, uh, meddling monk, monk adventure with... Um, I wonder who they, they get to play the meddling monk. They actually got the head... Um, what Tim Brooke Tay? Graham Garden playing for a bunch of time with the Eighth Doctor. And he was great. I don't know why they why they uh, recast him, but uh, they came, They got this new uh, generation of him now, regeneration of him. Rufus Howard. He is a fantastic... Uh, meddling monk. So if you want to listen to a Fraser Hines-led Second Doctor story, that's my, recomm my recommendation. Blech. My recommendation. Doctor Who, The Black Hole. <gasps> Doctor Who. Home Guard. I think that's one to miss. Blech. Sorry, I'm just trying to not vomit on camera. That would be really nice. My name is Fila Beckin. See, you only get the highest level of professionalism from Fila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, and I comment let me know what you think uh if you love this story let me know if you hated it and you agree with me let me know have a good day <laughs>